Hey everyone, and welcome to the course. This is Economics of Healthcare Systems, Rite University for the spring 2024 semester. Uh, my name is Joe Shin. I will be the instructor for this course. Uh, the goal of this video is to just give you a broad overview of the course, go through the syllabus, show you everything on Canvas. Uh, hopefully you are aware that this course is being administered entirely online and there is no set meeting time. And so I'm going to go through everything with that, where you can find everything, um, what to expect, and so forth. So before we jump into that, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Joe Shin. I have been teaching here at Ryder for about four years now. Um, I've been teaching overall for about 13 years, um, a couple of different schools in the area. Uh, some of the courses I taught include health economics, sports economics, labor economics, um, macro and microeconomics, and a couple other here and there. Uh, that's my part-time job. Full-time, I work for the federal government. Uh, I'm an economist with the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and that's a job that I've had since 2010. Uh, before that, I was in graduate school getting my master's and then PhD, and I did my undergraduate work actually right here at Ryder. Uh, that's enough about me. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump into the course. So what we have here is um, the syllabus for the course. As I mentioned, it's Economics of Healthcare Systems. Here is my information. Uh, you have my email here. That is the best way to get in contact with me. As I mentioned, um, I do work full time. Um, this is my part time job. And so I may not be able to respond right away to any emails, but I usually am within 12 hours. Office hours are by appointment only. Um, they'll be held via Zoom conferencing. So if you would like to meet with me, just send me an email and we'll set something up. Prerequisites are listed here. Um, required textbook. So Health Economics and Financing by Thomas Getson. Um, it's an older book, but I think it does the best job at teaching the information with the course. Um, what you'll see is that I do provide um, some more updated data in my slides. Course description, learning objective, uh, web access. As I mentioned, this course is being administered entirely online. Um, everything you're going to need, you're going to be able to find on Canvas. Um, now, you are responsible for keeping up with all the assignments and asking questions if you have any. The way that it works is each week um, you're going to be giving a list of tasks complete, um, assignments, readings, lectures, exams, so forth. Okay. And each week runs from Monday through Sunday and the materials for a given week only become available one week in advance. And so the materials for week at the start of the semester um, will be available for weeks one and two. Week three will become available at the start of week two. Week four will become available at the start of week three. So on and so forth. Um, now it's important that you keep up with everything. And if you have any technical questions, here is some information. Uh, here's the course grade. Uh, there's four components of the grade, and then here's the grading scale. Uh, the first part is the weekly discussions. So now during most weeks, you're going to have be required to participate in discussions on Canvas. And each week, you're to provide two posts. So you're going to be given a topic, and you have to make two posts regarding that topic. And so the first one is going to be made by Wednesday. So you're, sometimes between Monday and Wednesday, you're going to come on, see what the question is, the topic, whatever it is, and then respond directly to that. Then sometime between Wednesday and Sunday, or sorry, Thursday and Sunday, you're going to come back, look at the posts made by their students, and directly respond to one of those posts. Now, when responding, you can agree, disagree, expand on, uh, but whatever you do, just be respectful. Uh, each post should be about one paragraph long and should be an original thought. And then we have the grading for it. 
uh, weekly quizzes. Um, there will be a quiz given every week, and it's going to cover what was covered that week in class. Uh, there's no makeups for a missed quiz, and you'll get a zero if you miss one. However, the lowest two get dropped at the end of the semester. Um, there's a time limit of 30 minutes, and each quiz is multiple choice. There are also two exams. Um, unlike the quizzes, the exams are essay form, and the midterm is 30%, and there's a cumulative final exam, which is 40%. And then you have the exam policy, exam dates. Uh, disability statement, if you need any accommodations, reach out to Disability Services, and they will reach out to me. Statement on academic freedom. Um, with this course, everything is open note, open book. Um, however, you're not permitted to work with other students. If you get caught, you'll get a zero for the class, so don't do that. And then we have the course calendar. And so for each week, you have what date the week begins. Uh, what chapter is being covered, what the different assignments are. And with the exception of the discussions, which the first one is Wednesday, the second one is Sunday, everything else is due by the end of the week. And so let's go ahead and take a look at Canvas now. So here in Canvas, it's going to look a little bit different here than what you're seeing. Um, and so if we look at student view, this is going to look a little more consistent to what you're seeing right. and so you can see that you can't see week one until the 22nd it's the first day of class um, although you'll be able to see it at this point and just leave here for a second all right so on the home page which is the same as the modules page it's a different way to get to it um, you first have the syllabus and info, so you have the syllabus we looked at, and then the intro video which you're watching, so I assume you found it. Office hours, um, as I mentioned, they are by appointment only, and here's the link. And then for each week, you're going to have a different module. And so within the module, you're going to have a page that's going to describe the learning goals, the reading, and then it's going to have the lectures, discussion, and then any assignments. And so for the lectures, you can either watch it in here or if you click on the title, it's going to take you to the YouTube page. And so in addition to the assignments being in these different pages, you also see them on the within the module page here. Um, and you're going to have that for the different weeks. Announcements. I do make different announcements during the semester, and so it's important to keep up with them. And they are also sent to your uh, email, whatever email you have attached to Canvas, so make sure you're checking that. Uh, the syllabus is going to have the different dates when things are due. Um, now keep in mind that, again, with the discussions, one is due on Wednesday, and the second one's due on Sunday. But I can only put the one date in here, so just keep that in mind. Uh, assignments is just, you can access all the assignments for the different weeks within the different modules, or you can come here and just see all of them. Quizzes, they're going to have the quizzes there. And then grades, um, it's going to be, you know, when things get graded, you're going to be able to see your grades in there. Uh, you'll see a running total for your grade and so forth. Um, and so that's really everything. That's the course. Uh, with an online course like this, it is important that if you have any questions, make sure you ask. Shoot me an email, um, ask to set up time to meet for office hours, so forth. Uh, and the other important thing to note is that you need to make sure you keep up with the assignments. Because we don't meet, it's very, very common for students to forget to do assignments or fall behind. Um, this is one of the reasons why I have things due every single week. Um, so make sure you keep up with that. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and with that, that's the, uh, that's the course. If you have any questions, let me know. And if not, let's have a great semester.